we're going to step right into here. Gauging the impact of mammography with U.S. data is challenging. Unlike Europe or Canada, the U.S. lacks an organized screening program. There are also no recent randomized control trials, RCT, or observational trials on the U.S. population. We do have data from the Breast Cancer Surveillance Consortium, BCSC, gathered from sites around the U.S. This data is the basis for the National Cancer Institute Cancer Intervention and Surveillance Modeling Network, or CISNET. There is also data from the Surveillance Epidemiology and End Results, or SEER program. There are six CISNET models, all of which make different assumptions. This affects the outcomes of each. The models from 2009 allow data assessment for those up to age 84. At the request of the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force, the USPSTF, the more recent 2016 models limit assessment past age 74. Data for women 75 and older is available, but because of this artificial limit placed by the task force, researchers can't use the latest models to show benefit in older women, although this benefit does exist. The 2009 and 2016 models, based on United States data, show a 40% reduction in breast cancer deaths if women start annual screening at age 40. Following American Cancer Society, or ACS, recommendations would reduce breast cancer deaths by only 31%. The USPSTF guidelines of biennial screening for women 50 to 74 would reduce breast cancer deaths by only 23%. The task force approach saves the most mammograms, but annual screening starting at age 40 saves the most lives. Later and less frequent screening promoted by both the American Cancer Society and the task force would result in many more unnecessary breast cancer deaths. Following USPSTF recommendations would result in approximately 13,770 more breast cancer deaths each year. Following ACS guidelines would result in approximately 6,540 added breast cancer deaths each year. A primary reason for this is that SEER data show a sharp increase in breast cancer incidence starting at age 40. This happens earlier for black women and those with a family history of the disease or other high-risk factors. The incidence rate for women 40 to 44 is twice that for ages 35 to 39. Incidence increases another 50% in those 45 to 49 and continues to rise until age 80. CISNET and SEER both show a tremendous drop in breast cancer deaths after screening was introduced. 30% of all years of life saved are among women diagnosed in their 40s. Although some advocate waiting until age 45 or even 50 to screen, years of life lost to breast cancer in women 40 to 44 are among the highest of any age group. These years can be saved with screening. Since 1990, the breast cancer death rate for women has dropped more than 37%. Some say this is due to treatment advances rather than screening. If that were true, then men with breast cancer who get the same treatment as women, but who are not screened, should have the same death rate drop as women. But for men, the breast cancer death rate has remained virtually unchanged. So treatment alone is not responsible for the plunge in breast cancer deaths. Early detection with screening mammography is critical to make this happen. The American College of Radiology and Society of Breast Imaging advise women to start annual mammograms at age 40 and continue as long as they are in good health.